All right, so we just met with the homie Amir. Um, he has a, a book being released um, called My Historically Black Purpose. Um, super, super dope book. Um, kind of like talk to him about his story, put together a strategy of how we're gonna kind of roll this campaign out and roll out the book and kind of uh, the overall campaign. So I uh, just wanted to play this extended clip so you guys can see kind of like the entire meaning of how uh, things start with an idea and then we walk through the whole process of building out a campaign for them. Um, and then we're also gonna do uh, uh, some follow-up meetings too so you guys can see the success and the stats of how it all happened. So hopefully you guys can apply these strategies to grow your business. Um, so hopefully you guys get something from this video. Check it out. The event that we just did, that I mentioned. Future of everything. Future of everything, yeah, yeah. 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 So like stuff like that, like for yeah. sure we want to attend and have, have stuff like that. Yeah, because I'm trying to set that one up for uh, Probably most likely in April in okay. DC. In DC, so yeah. I'll keep you posted on that. Because I've never been to DC. So oh, yeah, you yeah, I, I need to, yeah, I know I, I need to go. Up that way, so that's like second home. Yeah, yeah. So we already got a spot for it. It's just getting everything set up. So I'll. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll for sure. Keep you I'll, posted on that because I want to definitely do that. Because my plan for that one, the first one was good. I'd like to have more of the uh, panelists actually do workshops, seminars, yeah, and yeah, workshops yeah. this time. Yeah. Because we did one, so so I did like a, the breakout session of like uh, starting a business or whatever. Yeah. Um, and I'm I'm mad that I I missed Sandu's presentation. I wanted to hear that. Um, I know I know it was dope. Yeah. I mean, just even being in there with the panel with him and just like hearing his perspective of how everything is. Um, I don't know what that looks like too. So we're getting ready to. I just actually met with. Um, he is the um, communications director for. Uh, West Contra guys the county so like all the schools in Richmond so yeah, we yeah. we do a lot of so I went through I went to El Cerrito okay, okay. Um, and so they want to put together this event coming up in uh, May like May 18th um, and bringing some people together bringing the radio station together and stuff like that so if it's something that you know we could loop in with what you got going on with the colleges and stuff like that I think it'd be cool you said when is it supposed to be May 18th okay. it's on the Saturday oh yeah that's like right before graduation time yeah, yeah. so that's, that's why yeah so we're working out like exactly the details of what that is so I don't know because it's going to be seniors but then it's going to be also it's going to be open up to all all ages mm -hmm. um, but we want to do like little different workshops and like really just try to make a dope event because it's about like you know the exposure right mm -hmm. it's just seeing what 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 can be what's possible you know what I mean like that's that's the majority of how all that stuff works um, <clears throat> but yeah just even hearing about kind of like what you have going on and um, what we're what we're doing is I'm doing like a bunch of like consultation stuff now so we're like recording the content and stuff like that to have it so um, I'll, I'll be able to like edit and talk about all that stuff and then post it to my followers to help with the book and all that stuff too just to be able to um, kind of get that stuff moving and so, so did you finish the the thing that you were working on, the last edit, or you said it was yeah, like? Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, really, just wait for the forwards. Okay. So yeah, I, the forwards. That's what it people, was. Yeah, two more people giving me forwards, and now we'd be good to go. That's dope. Yeah, I'll show you the artwork and all that. Yeah, for sure. You got a computer? We, yeah. I mean, we can stay. We can do it down here. <clears throat> Space, high mm -hmm. school, junior college. Also, like parents too, if they're interested, mm -hmm. they're mm -hmm. trying to get their college or kids into college, mm -hmm. trying to get them exposed to the information. I didn't want it to be something like super large. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like super easy to digest and stuff. Content, mm -hmm. and then just making it something that they can digest, get a lot mm -hmm. out of, mm -hmm. and they can just apply it, see how Smart. it works. Smart. So uh, my portion probably ended up being maybe like. 60, 70 pages. That's perfect. Something like that. And then you got the forward. So probably all together, they end up being made like 80. That's perfect. Yeah, That's so, a perfect size, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like a good weekend read. You yeah, know yeah, yeah, yeah. If you really get into it. And so what is, and what's the name of the book? Uh, My Historically Black Purpose. Okay, Purpose, okay. Just going to guess? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, go to guess. And then I don't think there's a password. And if you need a plug in, you, there's a charger right here. Dang, that's super tight. So what what, in, what inspired? Give me give me your background of what inspired the project. And oh, man, like so for me, I was a, I was just a super athlete in high school. Yeah. So I had uh, I had a couple of Division One scholarships, a couple of Division Two scholarships to hoop mm -hmm. and whatnot. And uh, by the time I had got to my senior year. Mm -hmm. My grades is like good enough. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have no Division One grades, so I thought my only chance was to really go to a junior college, community mm -hmm. college, and then take up a scholarship. So of course, you know, my mom being who she was, was like, yeah. hell no, <laughs> that ain't happening. Yeah, so, 
She ain't never, she was like, nah, you don't just got one option. She gotta yeah, make sure yeah. we got options. Yeah. So she sent me on a college tour, like maybe two months before I graduated. Okay. So I went to the East Coast, down South, got to see like Howard, Hampton, mm -hmm. Virginia State, Virginia, all these historic black colleges. Right before you graduated? Right before senior. I graduated, like two senior. months. Really? Two months before I graduated. So it just opened up my eyes so much. It's like, you know, we don't have none of those out here. Yeah, yeah. You know, we hear about them, so mm -hmm. we heard about them, seen them on Martin with them wearing the stuff and all of that. But, Never really got to experience it, so getting to step on those campuses and hearing the stories about them was like a whole nother aspect. Okay. You know, because up to that point, education really had no connection with me from the standpoint of like, I felt like it was somewhere I needed yep. to be uh, because I just owed it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To the ones that came before me, mm -hmm. like we hear about the buses and mm -hmm. you know, the marches mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff, but actually, being able to step on those campuses and hear the stories mm -hmm. about how we couldn't go to Harvard or mm -hmm. Yale mm -hmm. or UCLA, so we had to make something. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we always talk about, you know, the yeah, infrastructure yeah, and starting yeah, something of yeah. your own. So to be able to see, like, my school started about three black women in a church. Really? Yeah, in the basement of a church, 1865. What? And it grew into this university with, like, 10,000 people. You know what I'm saying? So that's, like, to me, that's important yeah. to be able to know we come from stuff like that because we don't get to see yeah, those history yeah. books. You don't hear about it. Yeah, you don't hear about that stuff. So that was, was what really drew me to it, and I was like, all right, I want to see more about this. I ended up going there, and I actually decided not to even play uh, basketball no more. just decided to focus on school. Okay. And uh, But that whole experience changed changed my life because I went from like the, just the athlete yeah, to like yeah. this person who was now an SGA yeah, 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 working yeah, yeah. in dorms, mentoring kids, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. like the whole, the holistic person came out, the whole potential came out as opposed to From that to experience. Right. Right, right, right. And I seen it with everybody who I was there with. Like, I had teachers who were like, man, you just don't get it in high school. Like, you, know, you ain't gonna get it. And then to be able to go into that situation where it was tough love, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Just being there, uh, because you know, as a black man, being on a black campus, you don't get the things that you would get. Yeah, like, yeah, GW. Yeah. I went to UCLA for a year too. Okay. So there, I could use an excuse like, mm -hmm. man, life is hard. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't there, there was this. No, I yeah, can't yeah, yeah. from that. But like, if you go to school, where it's all black people, like, ain't nobody trying to get yeah. that shit. Like, it's Cause like, they like, we all come from yeah, the same. Yeah, we all got. Yeah, yeah. yeah, everybody's struggling. Yeah. Everybody hurt. And then um, to see all these people who came from all over, like I had classmates from like India come into uh, my school, people from Africa, people from Europe, because you get this misconception that it's all just black people going to HBCUs, and what you came to find out whether there's people traveling from all over to go to these, you know, so there's so many hidden gems that's giving people opportunities. Mm -hmm. And me working in high schools, now I get to see like how much of these kids just need some hope. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just that exposure. Just yeah, hope. Yeah. Like, yeah, because we tell them like they not they can't go to college because of this. Like I had a 2.0 coming out of high school. Okay. Like I probably shouldn't have been able to go to a four-year university. But they took a chance on me. Okay. And they take a chance on a lot of kids and it changes everything. So you got in with the 2.0. With the 2.0. Really? They just they gave me a chance, you know? That's dope. So you how know, did you? How did that? Help? I get to see it happen every year, like with the Black College Expo. I got kids I work with with 1.5s. They get in, and they said, "Yo, you can come in, but if you get in here, it ain't no 1.5s. Yeah. Like now, this got to be a 2.5 and then a 3.0. You know what I'm saying? So you holding them to something still. It's yeah. like you can get an opportunity, but you still." We got to see the improvement. And that's smart, too, because you don't know what the environment is, especially coming with. And that's what I was talking to the, the guy about today with the public school is that I just it wasn't that I was stupid. I just didn't have I didn't get it. I didn't like it. So it wasn't anything that captured my attention. So my my GPA was super, super low. But right. being exposed to a culture like that, an environment, I could see how that could be like. Absolutely. Because it's like, I was always explaining to me if we took we took a great group picture in here. Yeah. All 100 of us or whatever. Yeah. here. The first person you gotta look for is yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So it's no different yeah, yeah. in education. Yeah. But if we train from kindergarten to 12, yeah, yeah. we gotta look at everybody else. Yeah. And we don't get to see all the influences that we've made. Yeah. It can yeah. make you feel like you ain't supposed to be there. Yeah, yeah. You're not supposed to be a part of science or math or business. When in reality, we got all of these people who've been in all of these fields. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So That's super dope.
That's so that's I, what I was like. I wanted to be able to show people that you can get that experience at some of these institutions because it, what it did for me, it could do for you. you know? That's tight. So, the, so is that the premise of the book, talking about your mm-hmm. story and kind of like articulate yeah, that? Yeah, and it's more so. I talk, use examples through my story, but it's more so like ten principles okay. that I feel like everybody could learn going to one of these. I love it. So overcoming hurdles, uh, building a new family, mm-hmm. preparation, mm-hmm. listening to the elders, carrying on traditions. Mm-hmm. Like those are all things you can get being at this. So let's break it down in 10 principles. 10 principles. Okay. Yeah. All right. I like that on a content standpoint because now what you can do is you can do a series of videos talking about that. Yeah. So you have the 10 principles of like principle number one, right. principle number two. So now you create content for that to be able to support the book. Right, right, right. Exactly. So. Hey, it's dope, so I'm gonna okay, that's tight. Uh, it's asking for. Oh, it's just asking yeah, it's just for time. Okay. Dang, that's tight. Yeah, 10 principles. That's super. Okay. I had, uh, you know, just some marketing ideas and mm-hmm. stuff, too, but it really just needed to be. It's structured somewhat, but mm-hmm. in terms of like getting into a game plan, like mm-hmm. this is the first month, yep, yep, second yep, one, yep. Da, 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 da. So what is your what is your end goal from from this book? Like, do you have like an idea? Like, ideally, if you had to like wave a magic wand to say, okay, from the release of this book, this happened. What is that? What does that kind of look like? Uh, from a societal impact, I just wanted to be like a fundamental piece mm-hmm. of like college preparation okay like so if you somebody who's thinking about going to college like this is gonna be a book okay that people point to okay you know what I'm okay whether you decide to go to a story with black college yeah. or not or even if you don't decide to go to college mm-hmm. just so you know that information mm-hmm. and then just from a numbers perspective like i told you before mm-hmm. i want to go platinum mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. i'm trying to press out sure. a million plus for sure easy but and I so you want to do the world you know what I'm so so looking at doing kind of like the wholesale structure, Amazon, are you getting actual books printed up and you, you're you going to do it that way or what is your distribution yes, kind of plan? Uh, I wanted to do it uh, basically like the physical books. Mm-hmm. I wanted to do, you could buy them by themselves so I can start off maybe like 500 just mm-hmm. so I can have that. So people who want So you have hand. more hand. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can have some of those. Um, but really, that's the part I was telling you about. I want to get some type of bundle package together mm-hmm. with those so we can do a t shirt, mm-hmm. a hat, or something mm-hmm. with that. And a package. For a little, yep. Yeah, yep. exactly. Mm-hmm. You sell it for a little bit more. You know, similar like uh, what Travis Scott did. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. with his album. album, yeah. yeah, yeah. What about yeah. an audio version? Have you yeah. thought about doing that? Yeah, yeah. No, it's going to be an audio version too, so I'll be recording that uh, when I get back. Okay. Seattle. So they'll have the e book, I have the audio book, okay. and then we'll the physical. Print those, yeah. Print okay. Like start with a nice little number, like I said, maybe like five hundred books. Yeah, because if you could do it that way, then what is what is the minimum? <clears throat> sure, I would start with a hundred. Yeah, so it's a couple of little starts I had went through. We do the started. price break mm-hmm. after like two hundred, yeah, three hundred, yeah, okay, okay. Yep, 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 yep. okay. So that's what dope. So this is the actual plan. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm gonna share this one with you though. So All right. Have this. So I just add it to it. Um, so you're gonna start with five. When are those? When are the? When are you gonna go to print with those? Uh, probably. Yeah, I'm about to uh, I'll probably probably in the next couple of weeks. Okay. Yeah. So I, it'll I, be, I'll have everything by then. So I'll have the forwards and everything. So it'll be good to go. So you'll be re- you'll have the physical copies by the 21st or yeah, yeah, after? I, no, oh, I'll have before. by then. Yeah, okay. Okay. Sure. Okay. For, uh, most likely a week or two before that. Okay. So at least probably by the latest, by like December 14th. Okay. That'll be the latest. And then I'm so I'm assuming I seen that you had a list of like influencers to be able to help with promo mm-hmm. stuff too. Yeah, 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 so yeah. that's I'm assuming out of the hundred books, that's that's big in there. Yeah. Okay. For sure, because I'll probably. I'm gonna have a hundred set to the side for just sure. to give to Yeah, them. you have to. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> product yeah. placement is gonna yeah, be important. Exactly. That's it. So I'll have some of those just to get it done, like I'm saying. And then, what is the price point on the book? 
So it's gonna be a couple of song fluctuators. So the top, uh, the audio book would be like thirty five. Okay. Physical book would be twenty. Ebook would be ten. Okay. And okay. Then, uh, but I have different cycles of it. So like for Black History Month, uh, I was gonna go super low with it. So you might be able to get the ebook for a dollar. Yeah, yeah. Everything would be like half off. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For like sure. Favorite. So just playing with the different prices and stuff like that. So have you thought about putting that into, um, like the ten principles into video content? Definitely. Just not how, not exactly how I want to release it. Yeah. yeah. Or who I would get for each one. But that's definitely what I'm trying to see. Because I'm, because I'm thinking if it's broken down into, and and I want to see the structure of like how the book is. But I'm thinking if it's broken down into those ten principles, that's a lot of stuff that we could play off of as far as on a marketing standpoint right. to create content and having that type of stuff. Um, I think another thing that could be interesting too, as far as on the marketing play, is to be able to start um, these conversations, right? Mm -hmm. So, have you ever thought about starting like a podcast or some sort of like open dialogue kind of conversation, kind of media content? I think that would be definitely dope to do with that. And I had that down on here. Too. Yeah, because that can be the podcast can be centered around the principles of the book, mm -hmm. and then interviewing different people through their experience. You get what I'm saying? So now you can have that interview where you're bringing on people to have that experience, same exactly like you, right. and you're sharing that experience of what that is. So now, not only do you have the book as the foundation, but you have this media content to be able to support that and to talk about that and get really, and, and go deep into right. what, right. Um, into the, the what this really means. Because the story that you just explained to me, there's, I bet you there's so many stories around like yeah, that. Absolutely. So having that, that, that just conversation, yeah. literally just absolutely. a conversation can be, can be helpful. So you had, all right, so let's pull it up. Okay, so the marketing second cycle. So how, so how do you ever broke down first cycle, second cycle, what is that? So what I really wanted to do was, I'm seeing how I could play with them, but like almost every 5,000 copies or so, I go to a different price point with it. So, oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, so okay. Circle, yeah, it'd be a revolving door. Mm -hmm. basically I get what you're saying. Like okay, I okay. With the, uh, <coughs> those would be the different price breakdowns, like I said, for like festival or specific times, like the month of February. I want to go super low. Because mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. that's something I really want to mm -hmm. get out of So we have a big push coming up for that day. Exactly. Okay. So that would be this one where it's going to run the cheapest. Yeah. It's February. You get the ebook for a dollar, get the physical for the Get the audio book for twenty. So with this, so with this book, are you looking? So in the grand scheme of things, it, do you want to start building like your personal brand, like having this as a as a leverage to be able to to be that and kind of be have that thought leadership within this kind of like space and then build like your following your brands and create like content and stuff like that. Is that like the end play or what? What is sure, kind of like your goal? Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, I'm just thinking about ways as we start building out this strategy of like how do we position it into a way where it not only generates revenue but it generates it, it generates um attention right mm -hmm. branding so mm -hmm. like what we did with the our build your brand course right mm -hmm. we, we were able to sell it at a very very low price point to get people in the, the 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 gate to be able to just generate a little bit of revenue but in turn it it helped support the branding side of things. And right. so not only did the sales go up, but the following went up. So right. that way it just it just allowed us to do other things and it got us like different opportunities to do more speaking, to do other right, stuff right, like right, that. Right, so right. just figuring out your angle of where you're trying to go sh should be a, a main kind of um, thing to think about as we start building out the strategy mm -hmm. and kind of figuring out what mm -hmm. the long-term goal is. Mm -hmm. um, because I think, I, I think really launching a heavy campaign in the month of February would be smart because yeah. it's relevant. You know, it's yeah, relevant and how to do all that stuff. So, and especially with you, and that's perfect too because you drop December. That means, you know, that's right before Christmas, so it'll be hard as far as like with the influencers and stuff like that. But that'll allow you to get the month of January um, to get the influencers' feedback. Right, 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 so, get right, Sand doing right. all that stuff. So that way we have that content to right. start rolling it out in February. Right. And start like really pushing it, pushing it out. Exactly. And then if we have some like really like dope merch to go with it too, and like have a story around it, like that could be tight. Yeah. Because the other thing I was thinking about too is because uh, we we'll probably put the uh, 
go put the uh, not pre sale, but the pre order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pre order yeah. link up probably by Thanksgiving. Okay. So people have, you know, right about a yeah, month yeah, for to sure. start getting up. But I really want to do something big that whole month leading up to Christmas because to me, that's not only a great stocking stuffer mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. kids, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. like your junior, seniors, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. January, February, that's when everybody started applying for school, mm -hmm. too. So you can start applying for your college okay. January, February, March. You know what I'm saying? So, we, so we, we will put together the best way, the quickest way that we can like push stuff out is uh, an ad, mm -hmm. a Facebook ad. Mm -hmm. Are you going to have it on Amazon? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we need to do is the ones that we sell through the ad, we need to push them to Amazon. Okay. Because everybody has an Amazon account and it makes it, there's, there's not a lot of friction mm -hmm. when people go to buy. Because if you're going to a website to buy, it's as easy where people would just go to Amazon, they literally click a button and it's done. Right. So that needs to be, that needs to be, you need to have the, the, the campaign ready for, for Amazon. Right. Um, when would that be available for, um, for people to order through Amazon? I want to have that done by uh, the twenty first as well. Oh, by yeah, Thanksgiving. Probably by Thanksgiving. Okay, and and like that, you talking about the pre order or like actually being able to order? Well, actually being able to order. Yeah, so, so for the, like the Christmas campaign. Yeah, okay, twenty first you'd be able to. Order. And so 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 I'm not familiar with Amazon. So with the books, it's basically print on demand, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So like as soon as somebody Unless, orders it, they print it and ship it out. Yeah, but the other thing I've been doing research with them too is like you said, if the demand gets up, they'll buy books. So Amazon uh, might come to, uh, if they see us getting the traction, like, you know, equal yeah, yeah, or yeah. whatever, they say, yo, let me get uh, 100,000 uh, physical books. Okay. So we'll print those up for you, and they'll pay you for those. Boom. Okay. And do it like that. So oh, so that's finding, how that works. Yeah, so what I've been finding, too, is some uh, traction, like you said, as far as the sales, but also the reviews. Yeah, yeah the reviews are going to be a lot yeah, yeah, of for sure. So what I was also thinking about was, like you were saying, with the merch, maybe, like, the first... I don't know, see what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Like the first hundred reviews we get, everybody who does the first hundred reviews. Gets a shirt get a or something. Hat, yeah, yeah. Get a free mm -hmm. shirt. Mm -hmm. Socks. I don't yep, know. Something, yep, yep, yep. something you could do and then um, just try it out like that. So, so yeah, so I liked it. So I think I think, I think this this first play, right, because like what you said with reviews and stuff, because I'm thinking about the Amazon. I don't know. We'd have to figure out what the Amazon price points are oh, as yeah. far as like wholesale and retail, depending on mm -hmm. how much you're going to charge and stuff. Um, because that that is gonna that's gonna matter because when we start running the ads and we put the campaign together, we need to know how much we can spend per right. acquisition. Right. You know what I mean? Like what yeah. the acquisition cost is per person. Right, right. But we can get very mm -hmm. detailed with the targeting, right? Mm -hmm. So we can target um, we can target uh, mothers mm -hmm. um, of, and then you can do affinity groups too. So we could get people that were interested in like HBCUs or looking right. at that stuff that have kids that right. are interested. So now when we put the copy together, we're like, um, we could do something like um, uh, get your get your student um, prepared for in the mindset of like what, whatever it is like we need to have some copy to go like to speak to them directly right you get what i'm saying right. so then we could put that stuff together because the student probably wouldn't buy it it's probably going to be the parents that's mm -hmm. probably going to buy it for big time their yeah. their their, their students so we need to target the parents mm -hmm. so we can say i like what you said about the stock the stocking stuffer thing we could do something and do a big push for that mm -hmm. and we can we, we need to educate them right so we know that if you said applications are coming up january mm -hmm. so we need to put that somewhere in the copy where it says deadlines are approaching right. make sure that you're prepared this book will help you take the 10 principles and then apply you know what i mean like we need All to come right. up with something that's going to emotionally get them like okay i need to get this for them exactly. and that's how we need to position that's how we need to position that um i think I think um, I'm trying to figure out, so, so what we would need to do for that, you, I mean, you got it perfect right here, market to each demographic. So basically the demographic, this is exactly what you would need, mm -hmm. but it would, we would kind of like break it down even mm -hmm. further than yeah, this. Yeah. So like, I'll show you what, what I mean. Um, so this is how we make our client profiles. Um, and we try to get as detailed as possible. Actually, let me show you, um, let me show you this example. So client profile, uh, let me see, George. Customer profiles, okay. So this is this is one of my cust uh, students, right? Nice. So he has um, he does like these custom like scars.
cars and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so what he broke it down is he broke it up into three different sections. So he has the minimalist, the expressionist, and the novelist, mm -hmm. right? And so he broke down exactly who this person is, right? right? Who their person is, what are their key drivers, their key barriers, like kind of like a little brief mm -hmm. idea, uh, brands that appeal to them, so stuff that they're interested in. Mm -hmm. And of course, this is a brand, so you have to think it in the context of, 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 of your kind of demographic and segment. Right. But this is where all the magic happens, right? So mm -hmm. we have the demographics where the age group, which you have, um, occupation probably wouldn't be too important with where you're at. Um, business income, education, this may be a good factor because you right. want to target parents that maybe right. have been to college or we could even do first generation right. you know, yeah, students as well because sense. parents don't kind of know what to do. So we could create a segment specifically for first generation parents right. or, or students or whatever. Um, goals, so this is where you break down kind of like how we, we put this together to break down how to communicate to your audience, right? Mm -hmm. So what are their goals? What do they want? What do they value? Right. Um, what are their challenges? What are their pain points? And then objectives to the sale, whether that's you know the objective to buying the book or mm -hmm. maybe they don't like to read, so we have the audio book, just right. figuring out what that is. Right. And then the interest is where, is where we break everything down. So we would do something like interest in, um, we would do all the BSUs. So we would put all the BSUs there. Um, we would do colleges. We would do um, parents of teenagers. Mm -hmm. And so we would get very kind of targeted in the details so we know that this piece of content, this ad is going towards the person that 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 you really want. Right. Um, it's kind of like, did I tell you about the analogy of like digital fishing? No. OK, so I kind of broke this analogy of digital fishing and how the social media advertising works. Cause you know, you're scrolling on your feed and then you see the sponsored right. ads. So it's essentially like, literally like fishing. So you find the location of where you want, what fish you want, right? Mm -hmm. You want to get catfish, you gonna go where catfish hang out. Right. So understanding the location is getting that, the, the targeting, it's that location. Right. Right. And then the bait, you got to throw the bait in the water of, of what catfish like to eat. That's mm -hmm. going to be attractive and appealing to them. Right. So the bait is the creative. So mm -hmm. it's the piece of content that we put together, the ad, the video, the picture, the copy, the words and all that stuff. Right. So if you get good targeting, you get good bait, you get good catches, you get good leads. Right. Um, so essentially thinking of it like that is how we need to structure this whole kind of like campaign and figure out what's the targeting and then what's the message that's gonna like connect with that audience and connect right. with that person. Right. Um, and I mean, the results are crazy because the acquisition cost gets low. Mm -hmm. So you can get it in front of a ton of people, right. but depending on what your objective is of what you're trying to do, and that's why I like, I'll, I'll just kind of keep asking you about kind of like long-term goals so I get an understanding of how to how we can position this. Um, but we get this, we speak to them right, and we, we position it right. It's not only going to grow the sales, but it's going to grow your brand. All right. Because people are going to see it and they're going to be like, oh, I want to I learn more about this. So that's why I was saying creating that content, the media content with the podcast and stuff like that is going to be so important. Right. It's going to be very important because now you can kind of build that out. Um. <clears throat> So, I, and I could send you, I could send you this as well. So then that way you have an idea of what that is. And we could talk through kind of like the different pain points and build out this customer profile. Um, let me see. And I just sent you a oh. copy of the cover. Accept, save to downloads. That's dope. <laughs> That's tight. What uh, what is the you got the back done too? Nah, not the back yet. Okay. Not the back, but I'm gonna have him do that too. Okay. So, you gotta think with that, cause with that I want to do a nice little summary, and I think uh, as the book goes on, and then as I can get some of those uh, big names to mm -hmm. use those influences, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. whole back is gonna be mm -hmm. little tidbits of what mm -hmm. they said about the book. Must pick up. Yeah, 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 yeah. But originally, probably I have a little summary of it. Let's dope. Like no, it's tight. I, I mean, I think, I, I think the, the, I think the story is there. I think the, the cool thing about like, uh, especially with like social media, right, and the way that the opportunity is to market and to build your company on social media, you got to have that story. Right. You know, you got to have that story. You got to have that foundation. You got to create content that's going to be engaging. And so, with you being able to have this, there's so much story there, and there's so much kind of like emotion that. You, you could connect it with that and you could tie it together. That's why I think that podcast is going to be so important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then also, like you said, the uh, video too, that's why I got it on here. Because um, there's just so many people, like you said, to be able to get that story. Yep. 
just to visualize it. Because it's something, you know like how it is. If you tell a story about something you're passionate about, yeah. like, I can see it all. You can feel it. it. Yeah. You can, it comes all, like, the energy is transferable. Exactly. So, that, that, so that's why I was saying, if this is broken down into 10 principles, right? right. You need to create a video, 10 different videos, mm -hmm. explaining what that is and what it meant for you. Mm -hmm. So basically training all that stuff, because the thing is, with you, even if you not, you don't have to say like word for word of like reading the book, but if you talk about this is the chapter and then this is why, and this is what it meant for me, mm -hmm. and you touch the points, like connect the points together, they're gonna see that and they're gonna be like, I wanna buy this, I wanna buy this book. Right. You see what I'm saying? So you gotta understand of like what, you have to put as much content out as possible for to sure. be able to be engaged. And so if you create 10 different videos, that's 10 pieces of content that you have on your YouTube channel, right. that's on your Instagram, that's on your Facebook, that you're able to even email out. So the way that we're gonna set up this strategy is essentially people are gonna be able to, um, we're gonna get their email addresses mm -hmm. and then we're gonna like set up an email marketing kind of campaign. Yeah. So then what we can do, imagine that, now we have a 10 day campaign of like, each video, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Breaking it all down. Then you have conversations that you're having with people and you have, so you're creating this 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 dialogue and this conversation around it. And the, the book is is just a, a physical extension of that conversation. You know what I'm saying? Like that's kind of like how I see how we should how we should structure it and set it up. And then the content like is gonna be so endless because like I said, and oh, yeah, I'll probably have you come for by sure. too, but especially with the, uh, like I said, the Black College Expo, we get like 50 plus colleges. Mm -hmm. So I get 50 plus recruiters, mm -hmm. students mm -hmm. that's just coming repping for their schools mm -hmm. like at all of these events. So even interviewing them like the day of with all the kids 100%. around them, like this is something you gotta do. Do you I mean help them find their purpose. You're in the per like literally you're like in the perfect all you have to do is capture the content yeah, now. That's it. Like that's it. Like literally, you have everything, especially with the position of being on tour and traveling mm -hmm. and stuff with them. There's, there's just, there's endless stories. And then even being able to interview um, a student that maybe went to one of the expos and really didn't know about it and wasn't right. exposed. And then now you interview, maybe they're two years in, or maybe they, they, they graduated already. Right. And then you, you open up the conversation with them. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then it could be even on the phone, like right. just a phone conversation. You record it, and then that's, that's audio content as well. Right. Um, I think there's a lot there that can that can really push this and, and how you can build on mm -hmm. the different pieces with it because this is a long term play right it's yeah, not yeah. just like a one campaign and that's done yeah, yeah. if you're trying to build a personal brand if you're trying to build something that that now you can have follow up stuff where now you're doing in person events and you're doing like you know what I mean like exactly. where you can like bring everything together then this is just this is a great um, this is a great tool to be able to to kick it off and start yeah, that exactly. you know what I mean because the thing is how I see this. I see this as being more of not so much of a money generator for 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 like um, profit right away, but more so of like giving you that foundation and giving you that platform, mm -hmm. and then being able to use this to give you that platform. Because mm -hmm. now you have a product. So like what we did with the Build Your Brand, it was like it was a real inexpensive product that allowed us to get the platform to right. be able to pivot to whatever else that we wanted to do right. because we're thinking long term right. of it. You see what I'm saying? So that just, this just allows you to be able to do that. I think what you need to do, do you have do you have a YouTube channel or anything yet? No, not YouTube. Okay. Not YouTube. So I think I think video is super important. Mm -hmm. Video is super important. And people just like will be all on the computer searching for stuff and mm -hmm. then you do your tags right and the, the heading right and stuff like that. Yeah. Like I said, it's gonna be work, right? It's yeah. gonna be a lot of work of putting this all together, but I think that it's there's a lot here that that we can work with there's a lot of substance mm -hmm. um I'm, I'm trying to think about how we can do the product side of things mm -hmm. um what do you guys usually go through for because i know you uh... so i mean there's a couple of things so we had our stuff in-house and then mm -hmm. now we have a partner that we go through that does all of our production so mm -hmm. we can help with the production with that the only thing that i'm thinking about is the distribution right so the distribution is going to be like like you don't want to get stuck with having to ship all this stuff out because right. um, it's very time consuming. So I'm trying to think of a strategy of a way where you can get all this stuff where we could get you linked up to a print on demand service. So when somebody orders it, they print it and ship it mm -hmm. um, just blind shipping. Mm -hmm. um, so it looks like it comes from your warehouse or wherever, but mm -hmm. they get the product. Um, there's a couple places. It's, it's kind of expensive. Um, so we just have to figure out price points and margins and stuff like that. And then we got to figure out, OK, the books are going to be coming from one place and then the um you know the products going to be coming from another place so it's going right. to be in two different shipments so there's little logistics stuff that we'd have to figure out right. um and what the best strategy is to or to to give reviews it would be kind of tricky to 
track it as it starts to scale with the reviews. Um, and like how that would work of like shipping out a shirt with somebody that does a review. So we need to figure out a way to um, like to track that or a system that goes with that 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 merch. But I think it could be cool. You know what? You know what another thing that I, I think that could be interesting, and I don't know how how well are you connected with the actual schools? The uh, like the colleges and stuff. I mean, it's like one step away basically. Like, I don't know, like, everybody personally, but it's not hard to, you know what I'm saying? Because think about doing a licensing deal, right? If you did a licensing deal where you did a product per school, so you did segmentations of somebody that was interested in Howard, mm -hmm. and you worked out a deal with Howard where you did, like, a shirt for Howard, like mm -hmm. a custom shirt for that, and then they get a book, so it's like a package. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? And then mm -hmm. you can partner with the different colleges like that, because now we can do different segmentations for that. Right. Because the reason why I say that is somebody did... Somebody added me on Instagram yesterday, and they do um, they do these dope like um, bags like these, mm -hmm. and 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 hoodies and shirts of like the different um, um, BSUs with their logos and stuff on it. So I don't know if they have licensing. I don't know how they do it, but it just looked tight to me of how they did the presentation. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people want to rep their college. So if you're able That's to fair. bundle it, you get what I'm saying. And then if you're able to put your brand next to this this brand that everybody knows already, mm -hmm. it allows you to work out that partnership and then be able to do something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are just different things to explore about, yeah, like yeah, yeah. how do we? I know that stuff is definitely good too. Around, but you know, everybody start announcing what schools they're going to. Exactly. Probably around like exactly. June, yep. May, and then they really go heavy on like merch for their yep. schools around Think homecoming about it, yeah. time, like that September yep. October yep. time. So. That is dope. So that could be something that could be something interesting. You know, I'm just throwing out ideas right now. We got to look at like like long term plans. Mm -hmm. But these are just some things that are coming up into my head of like, yeah, how do we for sure. how do we build that out? So I think. OK, so I, I think so first things first is what we're going to need to do is we'll we'll have to put the ad together. Mm -hmm. So we'll need to put together a, a customer profile. Um, and I'll send you this template okay. so you can start piecing it together of just like looking at like who is that person, yeah. um, who is who's the mom, who's the pops. Because we could even do two segments. We could do one to mothers, mm -hmm. and then we could do one to dads. Because yeah. we can communicate in two different ways. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we need to communicate, and we could target when we go in here. We could target women, mm -hmm. and then we could target men. And so the way that we need to communicate needs to be two different ways, mm -hmm. because it's like from a from a son <laughs> to. I mean, from a father to a son kind of thing aspect of it right. will be a different like, will be different copy versus the mother to the to the son or to the daughter or whatever mm -hmm. you know whatever that that case may be. So mm -hmm. how we need to communicate could be two different ways, right. um, and and I would say we do that. We figure out once we get the client profile, we figure out what is the um, the creative that we're going to use. Yeah. So whether that's a video, whether that's um, um, a picture of the book, whether that's um, I think it should be. I think it should be a video. I think it should be you. Um, I think it should be you holding the book, talking about what the book is, and like fitting it into a minute of like, this is what it is. And I think we should do text at the top and the bottom of the video mm -hmm. of something that's going to get their attention. Because the thing is, when you're scrolling on your phone, right? Mm -hmm. Like these people are scrolling on their phone. You got to get them to stop. Mm -hmm. You know, and some people are scrolling through their phone fast. Mm -hmm. So what is going to get them to stop? So the reason why our the reason why our ad did so well is because it got attention. So if you look at like um, this one right here, it has text at the top and right, the bottom. Right. So as you're scrolling, you see this text of what it says. Right. So if you did this and then it was you it's having the book, explaining about what it is and giving yeah. a brief kind of story of that, depending on who the targeting is right. and, and how we need to communicate. So you do two different videos, right. one for the, for the mom, one for the dad, right. um, and you create that and then that that's that ad will do mm -hmm. that that ad will go right that ad will go because now it's like you know you really need to, that you get your energy across mm -hmm. right you get your passion across mm -hmm. you talk about why you're doing this yeah. you talk about what inspired this book yeah. and who you want to help yeah. and then it's like oh i got to support this brother and it's gonna help my friend like yeah. that's a no-brainer yeah yeah for real and so that's how we can start pushing mm -hmm. this out and then we could even do something where it's for christmas right yeah. this is a perfect holiday yeah. Stock and stuff, exactly what you told me. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, as I had, I was just playing with taglines myself, and it was just like, I was just like, like the perfect gift for a high school senior. Or something yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. That's perfect. You know what I'm saying? So, I think, yeah. Yeah. So I, so that's that's number one. Mm -hmm. I think that's 
because we could talk big strategy as far as like okay how are we going to set all this stuff up mm -hmm. but it's all about the day the, the execution on stuff so yeah. the way we we literally put that ad here mm -hmm. and i and i called him and i was like yo i was like um i was sick and i was like we got to put this ad together yeah. i was like i don't know what we're gonna do just meet me there saturday yeah. and we came here saturday and we were like what are we gonna do yeah. and we just figured out and we put it out and it worked yeah you see what i'm saying it, it's about they always say um uh done is better than perfect mm -hmm. yeah, yeah you know what i mean sure. because it's, it's about shipping <laughs> all the time it's 100 percent. Right. so we need to so so like i said first things first put together the customer profile mm -hmm. and then we need to figure out how we're going to shoot that creative yeah. and how we're going to do the creative and it's something simple yeah it don't have to be too complicated it don't have yeah. to be too fancy it's just literally you talking about this is my book this mm -hmm. is why it's important this is what it is and then we could we could even do like like topics right like bullet points like so what we usually do in our videos is like we'll have bullet points like talk on these different topics mm -hmm. so we can have you can have a structure right okay I want to talk about um, what this is why it's important um, who this is for mm -hmm. and the call of action right. you know what I mean so you have those touch points of what it is so now you know how you do the video you talk we can do the editing we make sure the text is right, right. we make sure everything's right that will go right. I'm telling you it'll go right. it'll go. Right. Like it'll go. Right. Yeah. And how you feel about two two? Because I uh, how you feel about uh, LinkedIn? Like especially with the parents, I've been hearing a lot more about putting a lot of content on mm -hmm. LinkedIn too. No, LinkedIn is great. For it. And then, like you said, we're looking at moms and dads. For sure, for too. sure. I mean, LinkedIn is great. I, I don't have familiar, I don't have experience with like ads on LinkedIn, mm -hmm. but Nick is like a huge LinkedIn guy. Like, yeah. He's the one that put me on a LinkedIn. Yeah. I didn't pay LinkedIn any mind at all. And he was like, no, this is like for yeah. real. So that's the first thing when I hear moms <laughs> and dads, like my mom always on LinkedIn, Facebook sometimes. So this is what I would do for LinkedIn strategy. Mm -hmm. I would reach out to influencers on LinkedIn and have them post about it. Mm -hmm. That's what I would do. So what I would do in those hundred books, mm -hmm. I would find out the top hundred influencers <laughs> This, oh, this is perfect. So find out the top 100 people, right, or 50 people, whatever it is that are on LinkedIn that have big followings, 500 plus connections mm -hmm. that you know are in the that world or you, maybe parents follow them right. and have them post about it and give a review right. and ask them how much it will cost. Mm -hmm. Most of them will do it for free because they're like, oh, I got to support you. Like, right. I want to support you and this right. is a, a positive cause. Right. Some people will try to maybe charge, right. but the thing is it will be worth it because that influence mm -hmm. from that person right. and, and LinkedIn, I mean, you see everybody's posts. It's not like how Facebook yeah. is where you don't see anybody's yeah. posts. So you have the chance of like having that video yeah. and then it just, it just going. Yeah. So LinkedIn for sure, a hundred percent. Like, and, and I think with LinkedIn, you need to get more of like professionals that went through BSUs and have mm -hmm. a story. So now you can start something where That's you're super like, easy to find and, and now you have something where it's like, okay, not only am I asking you, to, to review this book. I'm, I'm asking you to talk about your experience. Mm -hmm. Right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because now it comes to a passion project. Now it's like, no, no, I want to talk about mine. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Right. And so now somebody will do a video right. and they'll talk about it and be like, that's why I believe in this book and right. I think this book is so important. Right. And Those are the influencers. Uh, and you know how to, uh, everybody always want to put on for whatever. 100%. 100%. Any, any way they can. 100%. 100%. So that's a that's a really good strategy. Right. That's a really good strategy. Right. You So those, those out of those 500, you, we need to give, we need to give like, I mean, honestly, we need to give like 100, 125 away. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And that needs to be in the budget of just like influencer marketing, right? right. It's just product placement. Right. It's just now you reach out to people on LinkedIn, you make a list of all the people that you need to reach out to that you think fit the message and, and, and who your demographic is. Because mm -hmm. like I said, parents probably follow them. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how, that's how you use LinkedIn, I think. Yeah, for sure. Because influencers, is, marketing is so important, so big. Especially, yeah. Cause, Cause the thing is if you, so, so it's the same strategy of, so like how we got, how we got our first contract with, um, like Chris Brown, he's our first celebrity that we mm -hmm. worked with, right? We built a relationship with his bodyguard mm -hmm. and his bodyguard ended up telling him like these dudes are dope, you need to check it out, which led him to contacting us and wanted to do the project. Mm -hmm. If we was just up in his face telling him how great we were, he ain't right, listening. Right, right. But since it came from somebody he trusted, he knew, right. he knew right. and he said, okay, you use them and you believe it. Right. It was easy to do. So it's always going to come like anything coming from a friend or somebody that you know is always going to be way more valuable than sure. a stranger. For sure. So that's a dope strategy. Yeah. We got to do that yeah. for sure. And then and that's why we need to We need to figure out like a challenge. Right. Uh, like how do we create a challenge around this? Right. Where you get people excited about it, um, about like posting your story or like um, 
my 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 BSU story, mm -hmm. hashtag my BSU story, or right. something like that. You know what I mean? Like we create something and get them involved because right. it's such an emotional thing. People mm -hmm. will do it. It's not just a stupid surface thing. It's right. like, all right, yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I got a story for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you position it where you're like, this is meant to literally help this next generation that don't have it, mm -hmm. people, man, you're gonna get so much support with this. Right. So much support with this. So I think it's the ad that we run, and then it's the influencer strategy that we do with LinkedIn. Right. And we could we could literally put an outline of like, okay, let's find 150 people mm -hmm. that fit the demographic, right. and you could do searches and all that stuff. Right. Like LinkedIn, you can get really um, a search from people that went to BSU's. Right. Because uh, you could search like that, right, Nick? You could search people that have went to a certain college. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. For sure, for sure. Like right there. That's easy. Mm -hmm. So now you can search the people. You can put a list together. Now you can just start messaging them. Right. Start reaching out to them. Right, right, right. And then you have an introduction. Hey. You know, introduce yourself. This is the book. This is why I did it, mm -hmm. and this is where it is. Right. I would love to have you be a part of this um, hashtag my BSU story mm -hmm. movement or something, yeah. and we'll send you a free book. We just we really want to do this for the culture. Right. For real. For real. I think that's what it comes down. Because now that's awareness. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even if it doesn't lead to sales, that's right. awareness. Right. 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 Now you have a hashtag. Now that now that starts building out right. something that's bigger than you. Right. Because now it's not only just you about the book. Now you have all these people sharing it. Yeah, and the movement, movement of the message of what you want to do, right. now you're behind that message and the movement. Right. And it now it becomes like what you said. You want to make it big, right? Mm -hmm. You want to, you really want to have it as an impact. Mm -hmm. This is how you do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so that's, that's the first strategy. Right, and, right. Then from there, and then from there, after we put that in place, we use that content. Mm -hmm. And then we put together a campaign for, for, um, for February. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's, and then that's how you just keep, yeah. you just keep building out. And, too, yeah. and then, then you can figure out, okay, what is, what is the next move of like, do I go wholesale and, and, and target teachers mm -hmm. and, and high schools? Yeah, because the dope man already got, uh, along with the school district, mm -hmm. I work in Santa Monica mm -hmm. and San Diego, already got plugs with the school districts. So that's it. Wholesale. So imagine doing wholesale and then you get a testimonial from them of like right. you get the, the superintendent or somebody to say, mm -hmm. hey, we just bought these books right. or a principal. Right. You get a principal at the school. We just bought these books for our seniors right. and they have they have loved it. Mm -hmm. And then you get a video testimonial. Now you run that testimonial against principals mm -hmm. at different schools. So now it's not coming from you. It's that influencer thing. Again, right. right. So now you have this principal talking about how great it did and how much the students got from it. Right. Use that piece of content to get other business. Right. Facts. And that's how you start building and scaling. And that's like a, that's like, that will work. Yeah. This will work. I guarantee you this will work. Nah, I'm already with you. We put, we put, we put the ads right together. Here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, nah, like this is raw. Like I want to make sure that, and whatever I could do to help support, like I'll walk you through the, the process of just like even showing you how setting up the ads and mm -hmm. doing all that stuff because um, I think it's important. You know, it's a positive message. It's yeah. like, it's a dope movement. And I think it could be, it could be big. It's just a matter of getting it in front of the right people. Right. Exactly. That's it. Exactly. It's just the right people seeing it. Exactly. So, yeah. So next steps, you said the profile. customer profile, okay. and I'm going to send that to you. And then, um, and then we need to figure out, uh, and then for, for your homework, it would be the LinkedIn influencers. Okay. Writing down, I would say 150. Okay. Cause, cause because I would say we're going to reach out to, to get 150, we're going to have to reach out to like 250 at least. Okay. You know what I mean? Right, so that's like, what I was thinking. Yeah, because you're going to have to reach out to like at least, yeah, like 300 people. Um, because some aren't going to respond, some are right. going to say no, whatever the case may be. So, right. And you could even have somebody help you with that. So mm -hmm. if you have somebody on, on the squad or an intern or something mm -hmm. like that, a family mm -hmm. member, just be like, look, you, you put the process together, right, of how to find it, right. and then have them like put it on a spreadsheet. Right. The person's name, the school mm -hmm. that they went to, and then they could just do, you could do a simple line item right. spreadsheet and then have them follow their page right. and then connect with them. Right. So that's what he showed me too. He was like, don't just connect with them, but follow their page too. So that way you can start like interacting and stuff like that. Right. Cause I didn't know that until he told me. Right. So follow the person and then connect with them. Gotcha. Um, and then that creates the, the, the top of the funnel branding awareness type mm -hmm. of thing. Mm -hmm. And then the ad that we're putting together is the sales. So we're doing two parts right now. We're doing a branding side, yeah. which is the influencers. And then we're gonna do a sales side, which is the ads. Gotcha. <laughs> So that's kind of like, I think that's the two strategies that we start with and put it together. Mm -hmm. And then and then from there, we can figure out the merch stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I still got to think on that of like how to tie it together. Yeah, yeah. I know there's a way to do it. Yeah, yeah, it's just, sure. I got to figure out like, 
what makes sense um, and how to put the packages together with distribution and shipping and all that stuff. But I think this is a, um, and you're going to get reviews. Yeah. I wouldn't even worry about that. Like you'll, you'll get reviews yeah. because you, you'll, you'll get reviews and then you could ask people, you know what I mean? You could be like, that could be something. You have their email address. Yeah. Um, so I guess that's a way to, tra- to track it. <clears throat> hey, you do it. Um, you do a, a review and we will we'll send you out this hat mm-hmm. and then just send us a confirmation of the review. Right. Like you said, I think that would work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like something like that could work. Yeah. And then we print like, we do a small run. We do 50 shirts. Mm-hmm. And it'll be okay. inexpensive. Yeah. You know what I mean? We could do something really, really cool, like a, a dope design um, or a dope hat or, or whatever. Um, and we could and we could structure it that way. Yeah. I think that's it. That'll work. So and then so what we can do when when is the next time you are here? Uh, we need Thanksgiving coming up, so I'll be here that. So whole you'll be week. okay. So, so that's probably like the week after next, something like that. Six Thanksgiving. weeks. Yeah. Dang, already. Yeah, I'm quit. Yeah. So I leave on the twenty fifth. Thanksgiving is on the twenty second, I believe. Oh, so it's early. It's early. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's early this year. Yeah, yeah. So what we can do is if you need us to record the video, we can do. Um, we can do the video for you. So okay. like with the content okay. and, and we can help with that and put the ad together. All right, that's a good. And like I said, it'll be something simple. It's only gonna be a minute long yeah. or, or anywhere between 45 seconds to like 50 seconds, something okay. like that. Um, and we can help record it. You know, we got all the equipment, we got all the setup. Okay. Um, and then we can even help with content, like okay. as far as like how, what we need to like put together. Right. Uh, and then yeah, I think we should. I think we should record that while you're out here. Okay. What? When are you getting out here? Um, it's just. It's like that. You're gonna be out here that, that week. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I just want to make sure we're available. You leave what the 25th? I leave the 25th. I mean, worst case scenario, if that's it, um, he's gonna be here so he can record. Yeah, I'll probably be back up here probably like the 19th. Yeah. Okay. Is that that Monday? Yeah, I think like 19th. 19th. Yeah, yeah. We could do something like that. Mm-hmm. So, so um, confirm. Yeah, yeah. And then send me a calendar invite and we'll just we'll okay. plan it out. But in the meantime, do the, the, the LinkedIn influencers right. and then do the client profiles. Got gotcha. you. So you do those in the meantime. And then from there, we can start thinking about the copy and the ads. And just and just figure out like so for the ads, I think what could be and I'm going to send you this profile right now. But so with the ad, I think what you should do is start figuring out um, if you had to fit why this book is so important and what it means to you and what it means for the culture in a minute what would you say and just start thinking about those points because the thing is we don't want to talk the the book is like a byproduct right Right. like we only want to say like mention the book once but we want to talk about like why this book is so important why it's so important for the culture why it's so important to you and why you think that it's it's helpful and beneficial and that's kind of the content that we need to run off of. Gotcha. And that, cause that's connects on an emotional level, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Versus just like a logical thing. Right. Um, and then, and then price points, that's another thing. Mm-hmm. Can you, can you get price points together of like how much Amazon is going to cost shipping and all that stuff yeah, yeah. and what your profit yeah. is? Because we're going to have to look at that. So we know how much we can spend in ads. Um, so we know how much we need to get that, that conversion rate down to, to make sure that it's, you know, we need to say, okay, we need to, we need to get conversions for $4 to still make it profitable or, you know, $6 will break even or, or whatever. So that way we know when we go into targeting and we go into setting up the strategy, we got it. Um, so I'm gonna share this. I'm gonna share this with you right now. All right, so how I have it set up right here is, um, so you'll see, so these are examples. So I did like a graphic designer, so you'll see kind of like, you'll get an idea gotcha. of what it is and then they're blank right here, so you can use it. And you don't have to use these templates, I just, I provided these so gotcha, you can gotcha. see it. Um, but this is just a way to kind of start thinking about how do I need to break down all that stuff because this is gonna be how we do the targeting. So what I would do in, in like a step-by-step pro- order, mm-hmm. I would fill this out first. Okay. Um, and then based on this information, then I will start thinking, how do I make that one minute like content mm-hmm. addressing all this? Right. You're addressing their goals, you're addressing their values, you're addressing their challenges that they're having, and you're, you're fixing their pain points, and you're talking about why. Gotcha. So if you, can, if you can correlate that with your story and touch on these points, mm-hmm. you got some gold. Gotcha. And so that's why what we did, that's why our ads work, because we look at this stuff, and then we adjust the creative and the messaging around that to make sure that it's authentic to our story, right. but it's still touching on all these points. Right. And it works when that when when you get the, that that chemistry right, like the mixture right, it works. 
Um, so I'm going to share this with you right now. Well, the joint <laughs> going there too, uh, like I know you had said it on your... Uh, At least get another longer video, extended video of you talking about... Because we got to condense it into a minute for the right, ad, right? Right, right? So we need to do another piece of content, a long form piece of content mm -hmm. that could be like two minutes, three minutes that you can take your time and really articulate why you did it. Right. Um, and that video is going to be very important because that's what we post on LinkedIn. Right. You know what I mean? So we need to create at least while you're here, two pieces of content, right. the yeah. ad, one minute kind of commercial, mm -hmm. and then the more extended kind of like, this is my story. Gotcha. And I would, what I would, so um, you want to write this down too. put, put together, um, I'll put some pictures together because you talk about your story, right? Mm -hmm. So like, do you have pictures of you hooping when you were, you got the, so you got the client profile and then the PDF. Yep. Oh yeah, that's it right here. Yep, yep. Okay, okay, okay. So that's client profile. Then they go to the other one. I just want to make sure that's the right. Mm -hmm. Click on the PDF. Scroll down. Yep. Okay. Cool. All right, that works. Locked in. Yeah, I think I think that's a solid start, man.